Welcome to my new Spawn PK series, in which I try to obtain every untradeable item or item unlocked within the game. Welcome to RTU. Alright, come on, second to last kill. <gasps> we got a Scotizo pet! No fucking way! Oh my god, what the fuck? <laughs> Is that fucking incredible, boys? What's up, everyone? Welcome to episode number 22 already of Road to Untradeables. Before we get into the video, I need to quickly announce that if you click the top link in the description, you help me out a ton. It will link you to the Spawn PK website, but it's a referral link so they can keep track of how much uh, engagement my videos bring. Really important for me, so if you can click that link, it really helps me out. Other than that, the giveaway for this video is going to be a $5 bond to the first comment as well as a $20 bond to the normal giveaway on this video. All you need to do to enter is subscribe, like the video, comment your in-game name down below and turn on the notifications. That's an easy way to stay up to date to first upload so you can win some of these $5 bonds. Other than that, um, every 5 and 10 episodes the giveaway will increase to a much bigger amount so make sure you stay up to date every 5th episode and every 10th episode, those are going to be the big ones. Um, yeah, I don't want to keep on rambling, hope you guys enjoy the episode and I'll see you in the live clips. Figured I was just gonna buy back some gear that I've lost over time and maybe try and delve into raids again. I don't know if any updates happen to them in general, but I want to see if I can get more lucky than I have gotten in the past. So mainly trying to get some decent gear all in all that I need for raids. Alright, I think I have a pretty decent setup that I can use. It's been a long time since I've done one of these, holy shit. I wonder if anything has changed over the time. Highly doubt it, but I don't know. I just hope something changed with the overall looting system. Because it wasn't as good as it should be, for sure. Oh well, let's do a raid and find out what we get. Alright, what shall we end up with? I know the Fortune Genie doesn't help, but good luck charm. Uh, PvP box and some gift boxes. Oh well. Recently, Spawn PK has seen a new update, bringing new things to the game, such as the superior bosses, like the new Infernal Fang to make the Infernal Trident, the new Malevolent item from the Malevolent Barrel Chest, the Wicked Fetion, which now drops a Wicked Sword, two-handed sword with mid-high tier strength bonus. Pretty cool items overall, definitely something I want to try out in the future. But what interests me as well is the Grand Completionist Cape. There's this new cape in the game that will take the stats of your best game, it, or your best cape. It's fully customizable and it's untradeable. And a part of me kind of wants to unlock this because I do think it's a really dope item. It's just stupidly expensive to buy. So what kind of other options do we have besides buying it is unlocking the elemental cape. That will make it for free. Which means I need a total of uh, 22 more challenges or whatever they are called, achievements before I unlock that one, 21 excluding the completionist one itself. But the 150 kill streak, the jungle demon are ones I do not look forward to. But I did notice that that the area I'm recording is not the client at all. I am so sorry. Um, but I can't leave out all that talk. I'm not gonna do that again. I am very few kills off the zero one, only three. So I quickly want to get that one. And uh, yeah. See how that goes. There's kill number one. And number two. Nothing again. And the last skill. Some donator tickets, nothing too special. But we did complete the achievement, of course, and that's what we did it. Get that one out of the way. PVM gains. Get 500 donator tickets and 2 point mystery boxes. You also receive 25 slayer points. Not bad. Mm, some more slayer points from those. 500 donator tickets ain't bad. It's like 3.5 bill. Donator. Yeah. 
Okay, cool. Not bad at all. <clears throat> Figured might as well try to do a few barrel chest kills. Because it is currently also the hotspot over at barrel chest for 10 more minutes. Maybe we can get lucky, who knows. Doesn't seem to be any PKers at the moment. That's good. There's someone here though. Other than that, that's pretty good. I'm not risking anything. Not too worried about dying. Hopefully we can get a few kills. So we are currently... 51 kills off of the achievement. We had two idiots on me and I killed one. It was so casual I forgot to record. Now we have this idiot on me. So pointless. Just gonna try and drop my prayer maybe. Just gonna attack him back and see what happens. I don't even risk anything. But they are so freaking slow at killing me. Ah, uh, there we go. Well, okay, cool. Alright, we are lucky enough to get the Revenant Zone as a uh, PvP hotspot. Which means we can finally do our emblems, or at least try to. Should probably check if everything is safe before I go in. I'm quickly gonna set up an inventory. Hopefully that should help. Let's just hope we don't freaking die. That's the most important part. Right currently doesn't seem to be any PKers here. Gonna have to quickly bet on it and just hope we don't die. Right here he goes. Big balls. Hopefully no one tries to PK me. There's Rack following me. Hopefully everything goes alright. Look at that juicy shit. I don't know which of how, how many I have. I have one more of these and then we got two of the emblems. Which definitely don't pay out a lot. But 74 bill in total, damn. Holy crap. Pretty good, nothing to complain about. So we got a Scotizo pet and 74 bill in total, damn. As previously mentioned, um, recently the superior bosses were released. Right here you see a clip of me trying out the uh, Behemoth Elemental, I do believe it's called or something around that. It's basically the superior version of a Chaos Elemental. You can see how many people come around just to try and kill it. Everyone is basically running there and it's a, just a giant PvP fest because everyone that hits the monster will get at least a drop and you will get some uh, coins, block money, but everyone has a chance to get a drop. So with that many people in the area, the odds, even though it's like a 1 in 1000 drop to get like the real rare ones, um, it's realistic because there are so many people there that someone could potentially get it. Especially if you decide to like deal with, with a friend and uh, you know, maybe make the agreement of like, hey, if one of us gets it, let's just share the, uh, the prize of it. A lot of options, it's definitely a fun concept and it's great to see new content into the game. Unfortunately, I had no commentary on here, so I had to uh, redo that part. Let's get back to the live one. Alright, so this is another clip that didn't have live commentary because my girlfriend was asleep last night. Um, at this point I started getting into uh, the actual achievements that I still needed to complete. Because I still did need quite a lot of them. Uh, as you can see I did the Christmas Cracker one with a friend, I just quickly bought one and then opened it on him. Didn't get anything special, but you did get 750 donated tickets, which is, you know, basically a Christmas Cracker worth of donated tickets. So you basically, you know, return with the same that you spend on it. It's a good one. Then I went to do some Hydra. Didn't get too lucky. I did get uh, a PK around me. You'll see what happens. Nothing too special. Uh, other than that, there's one more clip. I think I went to the Chaos Elemental and then I found the Blood Tacton. Didn't decide to kill it because a, a superior fetting was about to spawn. You'll see what's up in the live commentary. I'm gonna leave it at that. Just wanted to fill up the void. Bye. Uh, someone just killed Fedion and it's about to spawn a uh, superior. So I want to quickly go there and see if I can get lucky on a kill. Who knows? 
And the goddamn blood tactic is right here. I kind of want to kill that. If you don't see that every day. Only fun, vulnerable to melee damage. That sucks. Might actually do a lot of damage to me. And at the same time, I, I kind of want to kill the... Uh, the superior fatty on first, because I only have a few minutes for that. And everyone gets a drop no matter. Only if you did like a little bit of damage. So that's the better choice for sure. There we go, finally. Two kills though, and we got a ring of Figaro out of that, so not completely useless. 20 seconds left for the freaking magic sickness. Oh, <laughs> the fucking phantom dude. Did not think of that. Will I just make it? Hopefully. Just need to teleport home and then I can heal, but... Damn, it's cutting close. There we go. Yeah, okay, we made it. Boom. Nice. Right, anyway, back to uh, Chaos Elemental. McDonks is here as well. At least it's a CC member. Alright, the Tecton was still here, so I decided to kill it real quick. It's not real quick, because I've never killed something slower than this, but... Oh well, at least it will be an extra Tecton kill. I do believe the Raid Tectons now count towards the achievement, so the only big monster I would have to end up camping is the Blood Hydra and the Corporal Beast. Mainly the Corporal Beast is the one I'm not looking forward to, but... Oh well, it is what it is. Get an easy kill from that one and uh, let's go on to the next achievement. Alright, now that we're finally home, we can claim our rewards. We do get a bounty cape for it, so that's a pretty nice part of it. Because that's worth quite a bit of money, like 1.5 bill, I hope. At least. Oh, it's over 3 bill nowadays, holy shit. Yeah, that's some good profit. Didn't think it was still worth this much, holy crap. Probably because of the uh, bounty hunter max cape that you can get. Anyway, now that we got that one out of the way, we are stuck with the Blood Hydro one. As well as the crazy archaeologist where we need like another 344 kills for. Um, Corporal Beast, Tacton, I'm probably gonna have to grind just Raids or Tacton. Uh, Corporal Beast, I've only killed one of them in my life. The entire Bloodburg tree which is going to be another pain in the ass. Uh, seven Skilling Scrolls which would also complete this one. And that would be it. Oh yeah, and I got the, uh, oh yeah, right here the Mage Arena, Jungle Rumble. And a fuser and a 150 kill streak. Definitely some pain in the asses, but just gonna slowly do all of them over time and uh, get that progression going. I do kind of soon want to unlock the uh, Amulet of Anguish ornament for my untradeable list. So that's definitely one I wanna get out of the way. It's useful. I use my Twisted Bow a lot, so would be good to have. Let's see what we get from this thing. Full armor deal and nothing of worth in all the other spots. Oh well. Didn't expect it to. Another Wicked Fation is spawning in just a few minutes. Gonna get ready for that one. Hopefully uh, not forget my stupid Blood Orb this time. Stupid mistake. Not gonna happen again of course. Oh, don't forget to drop my Genie. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get ready for that. Who knows, maybe we'll get something. Highly doubt it, but it's always fun to kill those. Considering they don't spawn that often. Right now I really gotta run for that kill. For the superior. Might cut it close, so well. Right, here we go boys, we got our orb with us. Should spawn any second now. Hopefully I don't get destroyed by some randoms. Of course some noob is on me. Always has to happen. Bye. Hopefully it will just spawn soon. There it is. Let's see what uh, what happens, what it drops. Probably prey range, I think. Come on, kids, why you gotta be so shit? Gotta keep tanking. I don't think anyone got something uh, something rare. What did we get though? Talk our calls, coins, and blood money. Oh well, not even much. Shame. 
Just gonna have to make a run for it and hopefully teleport out. Look at all these noobs. Oh, someone catch a froze on me from that distance? Don't die. Shame, couldn't uh, kill them.